Paulio Friere has definitely complemented my perspective about working in communities. His work provides meaningful insight into the pedagogy of social work and classroom teaching, as well as the work that I must do in order to be an agent of change in transforming the lives of those who are oppressed. Oppression is a horrible feeling or way of living. But somewhere deep within the spirits of those who are oppressed is the fight for liberation. It can happen. Like in childbirth, the oppressed must push and push and push until the anticipated contradiction of oppression is birth. That anticipation is freedom. Someone once said, Becoming aware of privilege should not be viewed as a burden or source of guilt, but rather an opportunity to learn and be responsible so that we may work toward a more just and inclusive world. As an educator, I want to partner with students to create a classroom environment that encourages and motivates students to design, to think critically, and to be inspired, to be creative far beyond the walls of the classroom. How will I achieve this? Paul Fier has provided a profound explanation of how my work within the community must exist. It must exist from a place of profound love for the world and for people. I must be able to dialogue with those whose lives I participate with in the process of transformation. Paul Fier makes a great point. Dialogue cannot exist in the absence of profound love for the world and for people. And because love is an act of courage, not of fear, love is commitment to others. No matter where the oppressed are found, the act of love is a commitment to their cause, the cause of liberation. And this commitment, because it is loving, is dialogical. Paul Fier also states, as an act of bravery, love cannot be sentimental. As an act of freedom, it must not serve as a pretext for manipulation. It must generate other acts of freedom. Otherwise, it is not love. Only by abolishing the situation of oppression is it possible to restore the love which the situation made impossible. If I do not love the world, if I do not love life, if I do not love people, there is no way I can enter into dialogue. The embodiment of these qualities is what will shape my work as an educator and helper in my community and in the world.